Hey everyone, it's Cece with When Green Pea. I'm starting a new series today all about styling your plants. It's loads of fun to grow your plant collection, but at some point you have to figure out what you're going to do with all of them. I mean, I want to be surrounded by my plants, but I don't necessarily want to live in a garden center where all of my plants are crowded on one table. Today, I'm going to give you some ideas about how to display them. I'll show lots of examples, and we might even throw in a DIY or two. Let's get started. One of my favorite ways to style trailing plants is just to allow them to spill on a windowsill or a bookshelf or even a, a hanging planter. I think it looks really pretty and quite frankly, it's easy. So I have a lot of that going on in my house. The negative comes from the fact that it's a little bit harder to water your plants when they're hanging and they can get kind of out of control. I'll show you some pictures of where I have that going on in my house. I have a Thanksgiving cactus, which I definitely consider to be a trailing plant. This is a succulent that you might say has gone a bit rogue, but I like it. I've just let it do its own thing and it's become this traily, snaky, cool plant. And these are just pothos cuttings. They are rooting in water and why waste an opportunity to display greenery in your home? I think they look really lovely up there on the wall. Another example of using the spill method for my trailing plants is here. What I've done with my Senecio. These are string of pearls and string of hearts. And I just have them spilling out over their little ceramic bowls. Now, when they get too long, I just trim them up and repot. So the pots are always full. Another really beautiful way to display your trailing plants is what I call the wind around. This is a beautiful manicured cultivated way of showing off your trailing plants. It also takes a lot of upkeep and so I haven't done a lot of it in my home, but I have a few projects planned. One place that I have done it is, you'll see in the picture, um, in my main room, um, I've got pothos growing either side of the fireplace and I'm letting them trail around, wind around um, the bookshelf. One day, I hope that they will be long enough that I can actually wind them all the way up and over the fireplace. So we will wait for that. I found some other lovely pictures on social media that I would love to show you. And this one. And my favorite mirror of all time here. The final way for displaying your trailing plants that I wanna talk about today is to grow up. Now, this is a great way to control growth, but it takes constant management. There are a number of ways of doing it, and um, one that's quite popular right now is using a moss pole. Now, I have done this with my Monstera deliciosa, and it is a great method, but um, it really only works with plants that grow aerial roots. The theory behind using a moss pole is that you keep it wet and then the plant's aerial roots will grow out attached to the pole and then that will support um, the plant and prevent it from falling over. It'll guide the growth up. Now, the problem with that is you need to keep the moss pole wet and that is a problem that I have had with the situation that I have done it in because it's quite large and takes a lot of watering. It would take me misting it all the time. So haven't done so well with that, but you can see it is providing physical support. You can also do that using um, skewers or bamboo or a variety of other things. Let's do a little project now. I have two projects for us to take on today. These are both 
pothos and um, they are great trailing plants um, and really fast growers so they're kind of fun to work with. In this situation over here, this particular pothos, I want to guide his growth upwards. So I've just inserted this um, little wooden skewer and I have um, a variety of different ways of attaching the vine to the skewer. You can use green twist ties, florist tape, or even this um, thinner twist tie that actually comes um, in a roll and you can cut it rather easily. I think that I will use for my purposes today this actual twist tie. You just press to cut it and then I'm just going to, I'll bring you in closer so you can see. So I'm going to take my little twist ties and attach the vine to the bamboo stick in a number of places along the way up. And this is just going to guide the growth of the plant upward. And that's unusual for a pothos. And that's why I want to do it because <laughs> it's cool. And this is totally modifiable. These are really easy to take off and adjust as the plant grows. But yeah, I think that that is going to look really cool. Now for this plant, I have taken a hanger from the dry cleaner and I unwound the round part at the top and stuck that straight down into the soil, pulled this into a simple diamond shape. And now I'm gonna wind the two main vines of um, the pothos around this. So they come up over the top and then eventually back down over the other side. So I think I'll use the same method with um, these little twist ties. And then I just wanna gently attach the vine to the hanger. Reuse, repurpose. And then as it grows, again, I'll just continue adding more so it goes up and over. This side is a little bit longer, so he's going to come a little bit farther up, but you get the idea. Okay, there we have it. I've trained these two pothos in two different ways. Super easy and they make really fun, cool shapes. Thank you so much for watching my video today about styling your trailing plants. Hopefully you got some good ideas. Maybe you wanna try your hand at a DIY project. If this video brought you joy, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I would love if you would do that. Thank you so much for your comments, your support, and even your questions. I love interacting with you. Until next time, my planty friends, let's keep growing together a greener world.